Today we are going to introduce the second generation of REACH Surgical's laparoscopic stapler, ENDO-SRC. Specialty, general surgery, thoracic surgery, urologic surgery, transection, side-to-side -side anastomosis, product design. At the front, we have the cartridge and the cartridge housing, the anvil, the body of the cartridge, the rotation knob. The device can be rotated 360 degrees. The articulation lever is located on the top of the rotation knob. The back side of the instrument is where the handle is located. Holding the handle, the trigger to both closing and firing the instrument. The return knob is located on both sides. A green safety button. We have three different shaft lengths for the device, short, normal, and long, which are respectively 65 millimeters, 155 millimeters, and 255 millimeters in length. We have two sizes for our reloads according to the length of the staple line, 45 millimeters and 60 millimeter reloads. We also have two types of reloads according to movement, a straight reload that cannot move sideways and an articulating reload that can. Reloads have different colors. We have white, blue, gold, and green, four different colors, which correspond to the closed staple heights of 1.0 millimeters, 1.5 millimeters, 1.75 millimeters, and 2.0 millimeters. Product features and benefits. This latest generation of laparoscopic stapler compared to the previous generation also has the tissue gap control design. It has a bigger reload jaw opening size, an articulation angle of 45 degrees to both sides, double safety mechanisms, a thin anvil design. We have kept all the excellent designs from the previous generation, but we have also added some new features to improve the device's clinical performance. First, the material of the anvil. We have used a new material for the anvil of the ENDO-SRC. We used a 400 series medical grade steel for our anvil. The compression force for the anvil is significantly increased. Clamping force is increased. Therefore, any milking effect is significantly reduced by at least 30%. At the same time, the percentage of staple malformation has also been significantly reduced by 60%, resulting in better staple line formation and much less chance of bleeding. We also added a gripping surface design, which increases the surface friction between the tissue and the reload during firing, so there is less tissue slippage, leading once again to a better staple formation. Third, ergonomic design a new handle design that prevents slippage and improves the ergonomics for the surgeon when grappling the trigger. The number of squeezes to complete fire a reload has been increased compared to the previous version to reduce the firing force. In the case of 60 mm reload, for example, each reload requires five squeezes to complete the firing process. We have introduced a new curve tip design to improve efficiency during surgery and to make it easier to manipulate vessels in a tight space. Instructions for use. Take the device out of the package. Please check the device and make sure it is in good condition. Please make sure the return knob is at the initial position. By pulling the return knob all the way back, Connect the reload to the handle, aligning arrow to arrow. Rotate the reload clockwise to fully connect into the stapler shaft. After loading the reload, remove the safety cap. Put the tissue inside the reload. Close the jaw by pressing down on the trigger. Reopen the jaw in the case that tissue needs to be repositioned. Adjust the position of the reload until you are completely satisfied with its position. Close the jaw. Prior to firing, press the green safety button to disengage it. Now you are ready to fire the instrument. Hold the handle and fire the instrument by pressing down the trigger slowly and steadily. One, two, three, four, five squeezes. Five squeezes are needed to complete the firing of a 60 millimeter reload. Pull the return knob to the initial position. Open the jaw. 
Inspect the stapling line to check if there is any leak or malformed staples. Also to make sure the stapling line is all right. Use the same method to disengage the reload from the handle. Rotate counterclockwise to remove the reload. Dispose of the used reload. Load a new reload. Repeat the same steps and prepare for the next firing. To emphasize again, we can choose different shaft lengths for the handle to meet the requirements from different surgeries. There are also different reload sizes and colors to meet different demands. A single stapler handle can be used for 25 firings. The stapler is a universal handle that can be used with 45 mm and 60 mm reloads. There are four different colors of reloads, white, blue, gold, and green, which correspond to closed staple heights of 1.0 mm, 1.5 mm, 1.8 mm, and 2.0 mm. This is the conclusion of this introduction video. Thank you very much.